Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D Essentials 2013, and this is the additional exercise for Chapter 3. In this exercise, we're going to continue configuring Civil 3D so that it can display property information. So we're going to be looking at description keys and figure prefixes and other ways of automating the, uh, the collection and drafting of property features. So we'll get started with description keys. So what we need to do is go into the software and configure a description key for a right-of-way and a description key for an iron pin. So to do that, I'll go to the settings tab and expand points and then description key sets. And we're going to right-click this essentials description key set and edit the keys here. And I'm going to add a new key it'll be ROW star for right of way and we're kind of given all the information we need here the style is going to be called bound point label style will be default format is dollar sign star and the layer let me widen this column a bit is going to be V node boundary there it is right there create another new description key. This is for the code prop, which is a property corner. The style is going to be iron pin. Point label style will be default. Code format will be dollar sign star. And once again, we'll use vnode boundary Now I do want to point out that there was some duplication between the two description keys. You can right click and copy and it'll bring down all of the same information. And uh, So if you've got a lot of things that are the same from one description key to the next, you can use the copy trick and, uh, and save yourself a few keystrokes. The next thing we're going to do is set up a few figure prefixes so that we can handle the drawing of line work for the right-of-way and property lines. So to do that, I'll go to the Survey tab and find my figure prefix database called Essentials. And I'm going to right-click that and say Manage Figure Prefix Database. And what I'll do is scroll down to the bottom, right-click, I'm sorry, actually we're going to hit the plus sign here to create a new figure prefix. This is going to be ROW. It's not going to be a break line. It is, however, going to be a lot line. Layer will be V-RWAY for right-of-way. Style will be basic. and I can choose that from a list. And my site will be survey site. So just kind of going through what we're doing here, this is the code in the field is ROW. This isn't contributing to the building of a surface model, which you'll learn about later. Um, so it's not a break line. It is, however, going to contribute to being property information. So we'll treat it as a parcel segment, also something that you'll learn about later on. But we're basically designated designating it as a legal property boundary, which is fitting for a right of way. What layer is it going to come in on? What style is it going to use? You've learned all about styles, and survey figures have styles too. And then something we haven't talked about yet is a site, but uh, a site you can think of as a collection of objects that interact with one another. So I'm going to add another one for that prop code for property. And these are case sensitive, so be careful with that. Again, it's not a break line, but it is a legal boundary or a lot line. The layer this time is going to be V prop boundary. Style will once again be basic. And the site will be survey site. So the, f the two new figure prefixes that we've created will take care of any line work that's drawn utilizing the ROW or the prop codes. For the next item, we're going to set up a point group that will accept these property points, the prop and the ROW points, 
and put them in a group that we can manage a little more easily. So I'll switch over to Prospector, right click Point Groups and say New. This new group is going to be called Property Corners. And I'm going to include based on a raw description of Prop or right of way. And these are coming out of my description keys um, that I'm able to just check on or off. Default point label style is going to be point number and description. And the point style doesn't matter because that's being handled by the description key. So that takes care of a new point group called property corners. The next thing we'll do is actually import the property survey data, which has been given to us in the form of a text file. So I'll go to the Home tab and click Import Survey Data. And I want to import this into my Essentials 6 database, so that's what I'll choose. I'll go out and find that property survey file. Just like before, this is going to be PNEZD, comma delimited. And if everything works properly, I want to make sure I'm using the Essentials line work code set and Essentials figure prefix database. And I can see that the information has been drawn. So if everything worked right, then uh, step four has been done. I've imported the data. Now step five is to check that everything looks the way it should. So it's saying that we should have right-of-way lines drawn along the road on the right-of-way layer. So let's check that. We'll click on one. You can see that it's coming in. Um, it's, it's coming in on layer zero, but the style of the uh, of the survey figure is what's showing it as a right-of-way. Notice the purple color compared to the uh, the other lines. We should also have square markers marking the right-of-way. Looks like we're good there. Property lines drawn around the project. You can see those here. These black lines. And the circular symbols marking the corners. You can see those here. And we should also have a brand new parcel created because we we checked the option to use to make lot lines out of these survey figures. It created a new parcel and we can see the label in the center here. And in fact, part of step five is to select that, go to parcel properties, and change the style of the parcel from basic to property. And that'll give it a different look along the edges. You notice they change the color to this magenta and uh, change the style of the line to a broken line. So it look like, looks like everything worked perfectly because of the description keys. We've got some different symbols here for the points. Because of the figure prefixes, we've got certain figure styles being applied here and giving the stylization of the lines that we need. And because of the point groups, these points are being labeled differently. They have point number, elevation, and description, whereas the other points in the drawing are using different label styles or none at all in the case of the, the X markers for the, for the spot shots. So everything worked, and that concludes the additional exercise for Chapter 3.